Uh, hello class, uh, I'm Luke Miller and I guess this will be my YouTube video on the social class and hidden curriculum of work. Um, this story or article more or less went into detail about how the social classes and where you stand, where you go to school, the grade level of education you get overall. Um, I guess I'll start going over all four schools that were talked about. The first school is more or less like a blue collared school, like, you know, everyone does trades. I'd say, I think it said in the article, around 15K households for that grade. The next one would be the lower middle class, which still had some form of professionalism. The third school was the higher middle class, and overall, as you go up with the class, social classes, the overall education gets better. I'll go more into detail about that in a moment. But the fourth school was the professional school, high income area where all of like the doctors, kids, lawyers, kids, stuff like that went. The two schools I will be comparing and contrasting will be the third school, which is the upper middle class and the first two schools that are both blue collar, low class households. Um, I'd like to start by saying what's different and similar about them. So what's different is between the first school, whenever they're teaching lessons, the observer, the author who was the observer t said that they don't really go into more detail and then connect lessons to past lessons. For instance, like if something is taught, like, you know, like whenever you learn math, I guess an example would be when you're learning addition, like they teach you like two plus two is four. So whenever you do multiplication, they can go back and say, hey, well, remember when two plus two was four? Well, two times two is four because it's two twos. More or less just making them, they don't go great into details, what I gathered from reading that article compared to the third school which has higher income and higher, more professional teachers that will go into more detail. Now, another thing that shocked me was the fact that the lower income school actually tailored more of the students towards going towards the same jobs as their parents by not giving them a more fulfilled education compared to the third school, which did give a more fulfilled education and actually prepared more for these students to be more tailored to going to college, going towards something bigger. Um, what I'd say would need to be changed is make education just equal. Like, in my opinion, all schools should go into detail with lessons overall. Also, I feel like all schools should just give the same amount of education and equal opportunity to every student. Now, I said it was different earlier, so now I got to go over what was similar. So what I'd say is similar is both schools are still technically classified as middle class though one being a higher income they got better education so it's more or less a give or take in that regard it really did shock me to learn that depending on where you are or what social class you stand in that that is the quality of education that you get because wherever i personally when i was a kid I just figured it was all the same everywhere. But apparently, this author did not went into detail about these schools that did not give equal education. Now, to talk about the other schools, there was a higher class one, and I think two, two of the lower class one, like very lower class ones. So there are five schools in total, but only four types of schools. Now, what I would like the impact of these students and the schools is they was whenever they're done with school they send them out to do you know the jobs of society but the students that have the higher education are more inclined to do higher pay jobs such as lawyer like some students are going to be more inclined to be lawyers or doctors stuff around that line whereas the lower income schools typically stay as trade workers factory workers you know not like not necessarily ideal jobs and that is what I gathered from 
this article. I hope that everything changes, and I really hope that nowadays school is more equal and opportune for everyone. Thank you.